Hello, my babies. This is your girl, Nala Ife, and this is one of our first Nala the Neptunian reading sessions, and we're starting in Sagittarius season. I'm super excited to add this reading to our um, wardrobe of tools that we um, connect with the collective and help sort out some issues that you may be inquiring about, okay? Um, things that you would find necessary for betterment of your life, future, present situation, and even understanding from the past, okay? Now, it is a mixed bag of things you can get. And this particular reading is going to be for Sagittarius. The name of this reading is, This is the Problem and Here is the Solution. Okay? So, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. But this will be a general reading for those of you who are Sagittarius, suns, moons, or risings, or prominent Sagittarius placements. First and foremost, before I continue, let me go ahead and wish all of my Sagittarius happy birthday, okay? This is your birthday month, whether you were a Sagittarius born in November, happy belated birthday, or a Sagittarius born in December, happy birthday, my baby, okay? I hope that your year ahead is one filled with success, solutions, and understanding to minimize any problems that you may come across, okay? If you come across those, you will be equipped to handle them and bring back things to a balance so that we can go to the next issue, okay? So let's get into it, all right? So Sagittarius, again, this is going to be for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising. You can also look at this if you have Sagittarius Mars, because Mars rules our actions. Sagittarius Venus, and the things that we appreciate, that we naturally gravitate to, um, and what has people gravitate towards us, okay? That could be for Mars or for Venus. Um, but generally, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising would be this. Again, if you have heavy Sagittarius placements, um, three or more, you know, personal planets in the sign of Sagittarius, you can look at this. Or if they're conjunct Sun, Moon, or Rising, you could look at this. Um, even if the Sun, Moon, or Rising are in different signs, is at a certain degree. If it's in Sagittarius and it's aspecting a major sun, moon, or rising, or again, a stellium, three or more planets, um, Venus, Mars, it could be relevant, okay? The whole gambit, all right? Sagittarius energy is quite um, effervescent, okay? So it will show up if it is personal planets or connected to a major personal planet. All right. So let me get, let me shut it up. Okay. On that. And let's go ahead and get into the problem. So what are the problems that are affecting the select, the Sagittarius collective spirit? Okay. What are the problems that are collecting or, um, or affecting the collective of Sagittarius people what are the experiences okay we have one all right we'll get two more all right cover these messages in the most highs wisdom truth directness honesty and clarity in the name of the most high god goddess and divine child in the name of the divine Christ energy. Okay. Let's get one more. Okay. Sagittarius, y'all are not. I guess let me go ahead and do a hard shuffle. Let me do another hard shuffle. 
getting a feeling that the third energy that I'm pulling, I'm pulling three major cards to represent the major theme around the problem is, is going to be pretty major for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, or Rising. It's almost like there's, you want to get a full start on the year ahead. Okay, there we go. And you want to make sure that you are heard and also that you are able to hear what's going on with you in each you no know, internally and eternally from a spiritual standpoint and you know i can see i definitely see the wisdom in that all right i really do now the major theme around this whole problem solution as it relates to sagittarius um, for the month of December, going into the month of January, covering twenty the end of 2022, per the Gregorian calendar, into January 2023, is going to be Two of Cups. It is about coming together. It is not necessarily purely, okay, um, about just relationships as it relates to romantic relationships. These are going to be relationships in all ways that they can be formed from family, from friends, from business opportunities. My Sagittarius placement is in the seventh house. I have uh, Uranus um, in Sagittarius. I also have Neptune in Sagittarius. My Uranus is conjunct my Jupiter just at the end of, of, of Scorpio. And Neptune for me is conjunct my sun sign. So I carry a lot of the collective's energies or generational energies on personal planets that really gives me the ability to feed into understanding as it relates to Sagittarian um, themes, okay, in my own personal life. Some people observe cusp. I would be considered a cusp with Sagittarius and Capricorn, okay? I said all of that to say this, with me having a seventh house in Sagittarius, I understand personally the need or the desire to make sure that one is building meaningful connections and that they are supportive of one another, meaning that you, Sagittarius, are able to feel supported, grounded, um, seen and heard as opposed to feeling exposed and feeling vulnerable or feeling um, unfulfilled, right? There's a, a huge focus in this area um, for you. And this is a part of the problem. So there could be issues with commitments, okay? Okay. committing to committing to you're committing <laughs> to committing to a plan in which you are happy with your partner or your partner is happy with you whether this is for you or a cross watcher for someone who's dealing with Sagittarius okay just know that ultimately this problem with coming together and having a partnership, a a a bond, okay, um, trust in all of these things, this is important for you, and this is why you're coming to this reading, and trust that spirit will reveal to you exactly what is necessary for you to make adjustments, Sagittarius, or those who are cross watching to complete this void, okay? Feel it with something that's tangible and that's coming from within you, okay? It's the kind of the measure I'm getting. Let's get into the major details. We have the Ace of Cups or Love Abounds. We have the Listen card, the High Priestess is what this would be here. And then we have the sacral chakra. So the sacral chakra, instead of being represented by a major arcana or tarot card, 
it is more or less um, the need for one to feel. And this actually is in the orange color. And I also associate sometimes Jupiter or Sagittarius with this energy, the sacral chakra. It is the ability to create. It's the center um, from where we create. It is our sexual center. The sacral chakra is responsible for life. OK, for the um, coming together of two individuals to produce a child. OK, there could be issues in blocks in one's creativity or it's because we're not listening to our needs. There could be this problem that you're having is that you're you could potentially be interacting with people in hopes that it brings you together in a way that strengthens your bond or satisfies some of your desires or this is them when it comes to relationships and love. This could be for those of you who are in long-term relationships or if you are dating and meeting new people. The problem here is feeling, number one, that you can offer a cup of love and that it would be supported, accepted, or that those who are offering a cup of love actually have the, what it takes to withstand, okay, that type of exchange, that they understand what type of commitment that is required from them in order for you to also feel comfortable committing to this connection, okay? And again, this could even be with family members. This is around the holiday season. We just had Thanksgiving. We have Christmas coming up. So um, there is this expansion, which is ruled really by a Jupiterian energy that you find in Sagittarius and also Pisces. And we see Pisces here with the High Priestess and Listen card. There is this need for you, Sagittarius, to be very introspective um, in, 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 in the fact that you're actually listening to yourself, which opens up your ability to listen to the unconscious words and even pay attention to the actions of others as it relates to building bonds, if we should build a bond, if we should be in a relationship, if this, we, sh if I, sh if we should commit to one another. Okay. If I should commit to this, do, do I have what this person needs? Does this person have what I need? Um, how am I being served or how am I not being served is what is here because with the sacral chakra coming out that kind of does concern me and i'm going to clarify this okay it does give me a bit of concern because that affects your creativity feeling creative feeling free to be creative um it's just a feeling of i'm just getting this general feeling of block um expression or not being able to um express romantic or sexual love because of the other aspects that are not being satisfied, um, that are not clear for you. Um, Sagittarius, you could be feeling as though you're not being heard or your partner could feel as though you don't hear them. And that is essential to this Ace of cup, Cups. I'm also getting the feeling that with the to coming together two of cups and this being the problem portion that some of you are trying to reconcile or someone is trying to reconcile with you but there is like a feeling of being potentially rejected i'm getting okay um or that person feels like they would be rejected or you feel like you would be rejected is affecting a possibly the self-esteem your self-esteem, their self-esteem, and all of these things, you know, what would happen, what happens if I don't? Yeah, I got the Ten of Swords as I was um, shuffling here. So that talks about something that, you know, that could have been some sort of betrayal feeling as though someone was stabbed 
in the back. Um, there could have been a huge transformation. There could have been things that were said that feel really heavy. Both parties want to come together. Um, in, in the problem is in that because of what words could have said the ten of swords representing thoughts, words, um, and ideas, okay? There's really, really been um, a sense of one being betrayed. And that's affecting the affections and the sexual desire even with the sacral chakra, okay? Feeling free to be sexual or to desire the other person. Um, someone's desire is affected because of some things that were said and or done um, that led to a feeling of being betrayed or being stabbed in the back. And that is, you know, the problem in, in these people may love each other, but because of the betrayal, one is not able to feel attracted or feel, you know, like they can respect themselves while still being able to cre create romanticism or love in, in, in what, needs to be done and that's in the middle of this reading the high priestess is here there's a there is a need to listen to oneself or how one has learned about a betrayal was through them listening the high priestess can also speak to a hidden person um it can also speak to infidelity okay so sagittarius or sagittarius cross watcher if you're trying to wonder what happened to why your partner is acting different if you have been unfaithful um or you have done something, you know, behind their back or, or maybe talked to an ex or talked or something over social media. Um, it could have been just your conversation. There could have been something that was said, whether you're Sagittarius, this happening to you, or this is something you did or something to cross watcher or cross watcher what happened to you from a Sagittarius or something you did to a Sagittarius um, or what they picked up on. There could have been something that was said that went counter to what either party understood as the truth of a matter. Someone may have heard something that gave way. Okay. Yeah, we have the lover's card and then we have the seven of pentacles. Okay. So with this, a choice needing to be made with the lover's card. We also see the, we have, we see like a bit of a divine union or something about a union. But with the seven of pentacles here, it is about, well, I have tried to do XYZ and nothing's working. Someone feeling like nothing's working, that they're just constantly pouring into something and nothing's working. And that potentially, as it relates to a relationship, a friendship or family or business contract. And so therefore, this person, it, like, it's almost like they begin to do a search um, into Sagittarius or Sagittarius, this is you. You begin to do some sort of search or you will be. Because you're looking to find out what's going on with the cup of love and why a situation is not coming together, why a partnership seems to be stagnated, why um, their desire is waning or why your desire is waning. Okay, for the uh, cross watcher, why maybe your Sagittarius desires waning here or if you're a cross watcher, your, your Sagittarius is wondering if your desire is waning for them. Someone in this connection or in this group, in this um, situation, okay, is listening because they're not able to get what they feel may be the truth. They maybe feel as though some things are being hidden from them. Um, someone is not being completely upfront and honest. And so they're trying to listen for cues that are different than what they understand, okay? Or, again, we can go back to the notion that someone feels as though they heard something and what they heard goes counter to what they thought and that is what this 
betrayal from a lover situation or a situation of two people, a decision or what has impacted a decision that someone's made about continuing forward and if it's worth continuing is what I'm hearing. Okay. Something about listening. And if someone's listening, it's about what something is being said and it could be dealing with again, the, the sacral chakra or sexual center of you, Sagittarius, or the other person desiring it, um, feeling desirable, feeling like they want something, feeling, you know, a sense of, of, of a pre lack of appreciation. Because I can tell you that, um, even people have makeup sex, they have makeup, you know, coitus, if you will, but generally for the most part, especially in relationships, people need to feel like they can trust people to be open sexually, you know, with their feelings. Okay. We got a lot of feelings with the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. Okay. Lots of feelings. And so when someone, when people feel betrayed by something, even if it was an impulsive action or it was the wrong thought, if it was, um, you know, someone doing something else that was revealed that they weren't as committed, that can affect the other party's desire for intimacy because they feel, again, they feel unsupported. They feel um, they've done all that they've, they, they've could. And if they are still not enough or they're still being rejected in ways um they're still not being listened to or heard or if they've given a lot and they feel that the other person kind of just betrayed them despite their efforts it would have an effect on being able to bond romantically through a through through one's sexual desire it could also just kind of be like a damper on one's desire for someone else. So if you're a cross watcher and you're trying to figure out what's going on with your Sagittarius, there could have been something that was said. You guys could have got into an argument. Okay. And maybe something that was said to, uh, from you to them could very well, you know, it could have went there kind of thing. And after it was said, it really affected this person's ability to connect to you sexually, especially if what was said was damaging to that person's identity or their ego. Like if they feel that you feel a certain way about them, they're not going to be open to being sexual with you. They're not going to be open to allowing you to get into their most intimate spots, depending on how disrespectful what was said. Uh, anything that was said, how disrespectful they or disrespected that they felt. Okay. And maybe this is something you Sagittarius, you did. And this is why this, the, the desire and the drive to come together or be together or bond, especially in a deep sexual romantic way um, to create something between one another is inhibited because of things that were said. Either things that you heard, Sagittarius, you will hear, okay? Or things that was said that your partner heard, business partner. This could be even making great project results. If it's in your workplace, um, someone feels betrayed ultimately. And it is affecting the way that they're able to connect to the other and they feel a, a level of possible despair because of a lot that was invested with the seven of pentacles in a, in this relationship or connection or this group, the lovers and the betrayal, the 10 of swords. Okay. And swords being, um, air energy. Okay. Specifically Gemini, Gemini is coming up twice, the 10 of swords and the lovers. We also have, um, Pisces, we have Cancer, we have Taurus, we have, yeah, okay, okay, let's see if we can get some more to get the full problem here to see if there's any more nuance that I haven't 
touched on. Yeah, the six of now we have the six of pentacles. It went from the investment, working with the investment, whether with you, uh, Sagittarius, you trying to invest or you seeing what you've yielded from your investment or vice versa. The cross watcher is seeing what is reviewing what they have invested and looking over it and, and possibly what we're seeing with the six of pentacles, there being an imbalance, a one-sided relationship, one-sided interest, one-sided investment. Okay. And last but not least, we have the Knight of Wands. And then on the, at the bottom of this particular deck, we have the star card paired with my um, Aries, find myself, find yourself, the void, okay? So, and then we have some other cards here, but I'm going to leave it here because I pretty much understand that's the nature of this union or the nature of this business partnership of this friendship it is it has a level of star quality the star card could also even mention stars um literal zodiac um connections okay um uh compatibility synastry um in the stars within your chart a uh, birth chart and your partner whether business platonic um friendship okay um or romantic all right and there being a need here for someone, or there's probably already separation before I've even got to the solution. There's already been separation because there's some sort of need. Um, find myself, find yourself. And then this is Aries in the void. And so it's almost like one needs to gain a, a level of their identity back. Because Aries rules the first house. The I am who I am. Um, versus who I've been painted out to be, who I am in relation to something, who I am out of relation to something or someone. So the consensus here in the problem is that there's this separation. Again, something that was said, something that was expressed, something that was overheard, something in which someone failed to say things and and it's created a void between the business partners the friends um the co-workers and for obvious reasons here based on the type of cards we got the people who are in a relationship there's been a void created okay and the star card also talks about um higher mindedness it talks about healing divine healing from above um, it's rep represented by Aquarius, okay, energy. So this is speaking about a collective experience, okay? So something that is affecting you, Sagittarius, is something that is quite a collective experience um, that you would see the theme several places outside of just yourself, which is why you or your partner or you both um whether it's friends, platonic, business, or romantic, there's this void now to find oneself. Who am I? Am I showing up? Or this is what your partner needs to do, what you need them to do, what they need you to do. What, you know, is, is so many variables here. So let's go ahead and we're going to get into the solution part of this. Okay. So, um, yeah, this is, this is quite deep. Um, I can see what the problem is. So from now until January, uh, from now December 2022 until January 2023 is going to be really about your identity. You finding yourself as it relates to how you love, how you need to be loved. Your partner, business-wise, platonic friends, understanding what they need and um, for love or what they need for business, what they need for contracts, okay? There's a definite need for healing here, okay? Um, because when something's this fresh and this raw, even though the two friends care about each other, even though the business would be a great business with these two partners coming together. And even though romantically, this may even feel like the deepest and more most true relationship, unless there's healing that's going to take place, 
it's not going to be conducive. It's a lot with the sacral chakra. You can't fake that. You can't fake desire. And if someone's feelings are hurt truly and deeply and they feel betrayed, then there's no trust. And if there's no trust, one can't even gain the deep satisfaction of doing business together, being friends or making love in a love relationship. Especially where one is very vulnerable. Okay. So either this message is again, this is what you're experiencing, Sagittarius. This is the problem. This is the problem with the person that you are dealing with, Sagittarius, or for the cross watcher. This is what you're dealing with in relation to a Sagittarius, or this is what the Sagittarius is feeling in relation to you. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into um, what is the solution? What is the solution? For the problem of coming together in contract and business and romance and all of the things. Oh, okay. All right. I had a card fall down. Okay. We have the seven of wands. There needs to be representation and there needs to be. There needs to be boundaries respected, okay? Someone is not being seen or someone doesn't want want a past mistake to be constantly going like going back over this. Over and over and over again. Holding a past mistake over someone's head. Over and over and over again. We got to get to the bottom of that. If you Sagittarius or whoever's cross watching for Sagittarius. If you can't. If you if you can't let some go. Or get to the bottom of it. Or your partner's unwilling. To explore what happened. So that you can release it. Or you're unwilling to explore what happened. The reasons behind it. So that they can release it, then this is why you're not going to be able to get this situation to come together. There has to be conversation around the boundaries and around what actually happened, the why, how did the, the what was the thought process of either yourself or the other person to have these things happen. In order so that one is able to move forward, okay? And if someone wants your love, Sagittarius, you know, they're going to have to respect your boundaries and respect and respect you. Just general respect for you. You need to be able to speak on this and be able to say what is right and what is wrong as it relates to dealing with you. But for those of you, and this is the other way around, Sagittarius, if you want to help solve this, this person needs to understand and know that you respect them. Okay. And that they're being heard and that they're being seen. So whether, you know, you can apply this message either way you want to go, but this is about respecting boundaries. Um, there could even be a situation um, in which one feels as though people outside of the relationship have more access to them without them really knowing about, like, they don't feel protected. Either you, Sagittarius, you don't feel protected or the other person doesn't either, okay? And it's connected to maybe some past things where the themes that either you're playing out, Sagittarius, are reoccurring themes in your life and you're needing to come to terms with maybe the type of people that you're dating so that you can resolve this for once and for all. Or this could be your partner, that this isn't something that they felt their whole life and they need to come to terms with this and how they behave or react or vice versa. You do too, okay? People maybe feel as though I can tell what's going to happen based on 
this action. I can, I've, I've been here before in my life and I can tell what future actions are going to come if I allow this to continue to happen because, because I don't feel fulfilled here. Okay. And so there's a need of love and connection, but it has to come from some sort of respect of boundaries, either for you, Sagittarius, you standing up and, and stating what your boundaries are, or the person who's dealing with Sagittarius, you standing up and stating what your boundaries are in a respect of those boundaries. So it will enable the beginnings of, or the re, um, the healing part to rebuild trust. Okay. There's also an element here of which Sagittarius, your person or who you're partnering with, your group needs to feel that you have their back. Or this is you, Sagittarius, you needing to express that you want to feel supported by the people that you support and to know without a doubt that they have your back. Not their idea of it, but based on what you actually need, okay? Uh, all right. A theme that's coming to me is uh, giving the best by um, the Foo Fighters. OK, someone providing you something that you have for that you have no need for. In exchange for what their needs are for you to meet their needs. And this comes from us not respecting each other, not listening to one another. Instead of just giving people what you think they want, right? Give them what they actually need. Because you're actually seeing them. You're actually hearing them. Okay? So that's something, that's a theme that Sagittarius, you need to express and stand by with the Seven of Wands energy. Or this is why maybe your partner in business, in friendship, or your romantic partner is feeling has a lot they, they they have a lot of walls up they're very defensive with the seven of wands they feel a lack of support so expressing that they are supported would provide a solution in this situation okay all right we have the five of cups here next you guys need to be able to speak openly and, and candidly about the betrayals, anything that was that was considered to be a lie, speak honestly and truthfully. Reveal, open up about these secrets and in, in these things by being honest and truthful. That also helps support boundaries. It also helps support building trust. It also helps support understanding what each person needs. What is an absolute no and and what's an absolute yes? Removing this gray area or these blurred lines, okay? That's that's the, one of the solutions here. All right, we have the chariot up next. There needs to also be a level of respect and understanding about entities, individuals, and um, influences that bring a lot of this discord or cause a lot of fighting. Okay. There needs to be an end to individual influences outside of the friendship, outside of the business relationship or the romantic relationship with this um, chariot card here um, that causes discord within the relationship. If you guys want this relationship to work, you're going to have to understand your partner's need, okay, to, yes, feel safe, but to also be respected. And maybe potentially with this betrayal, they feel as though this outside influence, whether that's you, Sagittarius, or your person, or the cross watcher, whether this is Sagittarius or um, them or the people that are around the Sagittarius, someone feels that there are individuals involved in the relationship that sow feelings of discord and that, that actually 
induce the fighting between one another. The solution here is to nip that shit in the bud. Sagittarius or those who are cross watching, you need to express to this person the truth about how that makes you feel. Because I'm going to tell you all that when someone, if you care about your friends, your family, your business partner, your romantic partner, when someone insults that person behind their back, but to you, that is really an insult to you. Because if you're with this person, you care about this person, you love this person, you trust them to do business, they are an extension of you. So any insults on them is a direct insult to you. So keep that in mind. Okay, whether you're the one who is allowing your partner to be dumped on by outside influences or you are on the receiving end of someone else allowing outside influences to do whatever they want to do. You shouldn't have to answer to outside influences when you are in a relationship with your partner, whether by business, by friendship, and by romance. That is between you and that person. So outside conversations and, 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 and discussions, if they are causing discord between the union, if you guys can't get that together, then you know that it's time to move on. Because Sagittarius, if this is a requirement, this is about respect. And if you can't get this right here after you speak on this, or if the person who you're dealing with Sagittarius can't get this, then it's going to pretty much put an end to the relationship. If it's not already done this. Okay. Some people don't realize what happened to them. And this is just giving words as to what happened. The next card we have is the two of wands. Again, this is about speaking about the truth. Why are, why do I respond? This is about deeply looking within introspection. Why do I respond to things this way? Why do I tolerate these things? Why do I do these things? Or this is what your partner needs, you need to express to your partner is to know what was the trigger for this. Or this is was the trigger for me. This is about discussing that in the open to find a solution. It needs to be spoken on. Either you triggered them, they triggered you, you triggered you, each other. But what in the past is unresolved with either you, Sagittarius, your partner, cross watcher, it could be with you or the Sagittarius that needs to be addressed because it's expressing itself negatively in this union and causing a void to happen and causing problems with coming together. Okay. You guys are having a relationship with past with the past instead of with the future. Okay. Or with the present. And last but not least, we have the queen of cups here. All right. You guys, what I'm getting here with the Queen of Cups, and if you want to know what I'm getting, I'm reading from the Occult Tarot for the um, the solution. OK, here it says here teaches all sciences, performs wonderful poetry, follows all requests and excellence. With excellence. So you guys need to show up for one another. The solution is to show up. The solution is for them to show up for you. Okay. Or having people who will show up. Who will honor your request. Or you Sagittarius honoring the request of your partner. Whether it's again business, friendship or romantically. There needs to be a respect and understanding of why someone has these requests. And within reason, being able to honor each other's request. If someone feels that their requests are not honored, or you feel like you can't honor their request, then this is not a union that should be, should be taken up. Because this is very important. It needs to be a win-win situation. Okay? Also, the way that you talk to them and the way that they talk to you. 
how they speak and communicate their affection, their commitment, their admiration, their friendship, their honor. Either you, Sagittarius, you committing, you being able to to verbalize this and express this and and strengthen the connection by being more expressive in this way or your partner being able to speak to your partner about how you may need this and there's nothing wrong if you can't get your needs met with the people closest to you then where can you get them met because i understand we are strong by ourselves but two heads are always better than one so the solution here, respecting boundaries, releasing secrets and being honest and forthright and truthful, reducing the effects of discord in a relationship caused by outside influences, being very purposeful about where you guys have been to show that both you and your partner understand what happened to lead up to this situation. Because once you, if, if we don't know what happened, then you can't fix it. Both parties have to have an in, have to know exactly how you both got there in order to prevent it and to rebuild. Okay. Boldly. Being able to understand where you went wrong, went wrong or where they, they went wrong. No sugar coat, sugar free kind of shit. But with respect to one another, with this, um, with this, this poetry in motion, the way that one speaks to one another, the way that one spins things to one another. There needs to be a way of speaking to one another that induces and, and, and reinforces the the integrity and the um, fortitude of the relationship. Okay? That's the solution here. Sagittarius, I hope that this helped you. Okay? Helped you understand how you can advocate for yourself. And what you need to also uphold in in the relationship, okay? And what actually is necessary to, what, what you absolutely need in a relationship to thrive so that you can understand either I'm going to, I can get this from this relationship or this relationship won't give this to me and this is what I absolutely need. And if I can't get it here, I'll at least know what I what my needs are, so that as I'm looking at things for my wants, I'm actually actually cognizant of what my needs are, so I'm not wasting time in relationships that do not um, that will not provide me these basic things that help me thrive, or vice versa. If you're trying to reestablish a relationship with a Sag or a Sag you with someone else, knowing what their needs are and being able to deliver on them so that they can deliver on your needs as well. Okay. So those are the things here. So that, that really could go either way between you and your person, you and your business partner, you and um, your friend friends okay or this is what you were have been lacking and what the relationship and the person lacks in the ability to give so if you were wondering if you should let it go if this person is not able to give those things that we just stated you can rewind this and listen to it if they can't give you that or if you can't deliver that, then it's time to keep it moving, okay? That would be the major solution in that situation. But if it's worth salvaging, these are the steps that need to be followed in order to come together and keep it growing so that it is worth all of said investment. Otherwise, if you release it, the investment was in yourself because now you know without a shadow of a doubt what you absolutely need and that 
makes it less likely that you will stay in situations that don't provide those, okay? This is your girl, Nala Ife. This was a pretty long reading. I thought it was going to be shorter than this. So this would be like a bonus for you, Sagittarius. I am going to be uploading this to YouTube to my Nala Ife Talks Live, unscripted and off the chain. I'll be uploading this there, but going forward and doing these style readings, these will be on my Naughty Neptunian or Nala the Neptune um, station. So I'll be linking all of this in my bio or in this actual um, description or post, okay, when it posts to Instagram. Thank you guys so much. I hope again that you got everything you needed in this reading. If it didn't apply, let it fly. Have a happy holiday um, and a happy new year, okay? And I will talk to you guys soon. Peace. Also, stay tuned for your sun, moon rising. If it is different than Sagittarius, let's go ahead and get these reads so you can get a complete profile of how to start the new year off on the right foot with what you need and the solutions that will ensure you get those needs met. All right. Again, this is your girl Nala Ife signing off for Nala the Neptunian here on Instagram. I love you mm, because, uh, and y'all have a good one. Peace.